invite nightmares when we pray for you and you are still having an ego. You hear me? You are, you are afraid. If you fall, what will happen? If you fall, what? You know, if you fall, you must enjoy falling. If you resist the Holy Spirit, let's take here, I touch my wife here. There's no way she won't fall if I'm touching her. Look at it. If my wife can fall, look at my wife here. You saw, all right? Look at this one. It's my daughter. You see what I'm saying? What is that dress? Look at this one. Look, I'm just. Look at this one. Look at this one. When, when your heart is open, there's no way that Holy Spirit won't enter you. Can you come in my, my, Yeah. Look at this one here. Look at it. When you are ready to receive, you can't resist the power of God. I'm not saying fall when there's nothing. I'm sure you understand that. Can you see? You understand what I'm saying? But if you say, what will happen? This one was the one who was supposed to be saying that to you. If I fall here, what will happen? But look here. Look. I'm sure you understand that. The problem is, we still have people who are following us, and now we don't want to follow Holy Spirit. That's the main problem. We are dictated by the people who are following us. You hear what I'm saying? Eh? So you find that God wants to anoint you and use you mightily. And the way you are supposed to receive, you close your eyes. That's, what is that? That's why you find that when I'm not around, there is no church. That's the reason why when I'm not around, there's no what? I'm sure you're not anointed better than my wife. Because this one, I'm always with her 100%. I'm sure you're not anointed better than her. So if you open your heart, the Holy Spirit will enter. It's like light. It's like a light. But if not, you're going to be like this, always like this. And you'll be surprised why your things are not moving. Why your things are not what moving. So you don't need to check because when you receive, there have to be someone who have to pray for you one day. When you receive, it works for you for other people. The anointing when you are pastor is not for you. The anointing you are receiving is not for you. It's for other people. So the question is, why are you here if you resist anointing? And I have to touch you somewhere so that you fall down. Father, help my brother in Jesus' name. Amen. This one is the wife. This one is his wife. Lift her. This one is the wife. This has been my problem because when God wants to anoint people also, he will look at the humble in the spirit. He won't give everyone. 
You will look at the humble. When your heart is, you know, yes, I want to receive, and I don't care what will happen to me. You understand? It's like you are, you are entering in a in theater, and someone operates you. But look here, you are entering a theater, but you don't want operation. And maybe when somebody has already opened you, now, you find that you say, no, 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 I don't want to be like this. You want to wake up. You can die now. Many people were supposed to have received greater anointing like of Elijah. They didn't receive it. Why? Because they check. I don't want to, if I fall here, what will happen? People will think I'm weak. You know when you are fall, it means you are strong. Amen. Because he who is unto us is greater. It's not your appearance outside. Amen. I'm sure you understand that. Amen. Next time you won't resist Holy Spirit. May God prosper you in Jesus' name. Amen.